So let's turn on the system. As soon as I power it on, I get the first SMS on my phone. System started successfully. This means our GSM module and ESP32 are working perfectly. Now let's test all the sensors. Peer sensor test when I move my hand in front of the peer sensor, I receive a message, motion detected. Gas sensor test now I bring some smoke near the gas sensor and I quickly get a message, gas detected. Flame sensor test, then I bring a small flame close to the flame sensor and my phone shows, fire detected. So friends, all the sensors are working perfectly and the best part is, the SMS alerts are working. P32, this is the main controller. It controls all the sensors and devices. Breadboard, a breadboard is used to connect electronic components without soldering. It helps you build and test your circuits easily. Peer sensor, it detects human movement if someone moves nearby, it sends a signal. MQ2 gas sensor, it detects gas or smoke. If there is a gas leak, it sends a signal. Flame sensor, it detects fire or flame. When it sees fire, it sends an alert. Rain sensor, it detects rain or water. When water touches it, the system reacts. SIM 900A GSM module, this module sends an SMS to your phone in case of emergency. Push the SIM slot with your finger, then place the SIM card in the correct direction and lock it. Servo motor, when rain is detected, the servo motor will move the cloth to cover or protect things and some jumper wires to connect all the components together on the breadboard. Now let's make the connections. First, we will connect the SIM 900A GSM module to the ESP32. The SIM 900A has two wires, red and black. The red wire is VCC power and the black wire is GND ground. Connect the red wire to the VCC line of the breadboard and connect the black wire to the GND line of the breadboard. You can also see that in the center of the GSM module, there is a six pin header for the antenna side. Out of these six pins, we will use four pins only. First pin is VCC, second pin is GND, third pin is TX, fourth pin is RX. Connect the VCC pin of the GSM module to the VCC line of the breadboard. Connect the GND pin to the GND line of the breadboard. Then connect the TX pin of the GSM module to the RX pin of the ESP32. And connect the RX pin of the GSM module to the TX pin of the ESP32.
First, at the top of your code, you will see ESP32 Servo H. Copy this line, then go to Tools and click on Manage Libraries. In the search bar, paste the line. A list will appear. If you haven't installed this library before, you will see an Install button. Click to install it. Since I've already installed it, it will show Remove Now. Scroll down in the code where you need to write your mobile number. Enter the number where you want to receive the alert message for motion detection, gas, or fire. If you are in Pakistan, start with plus 92, followed by your mobile number. If you are in another country, replace plus 92 with your country code and add your number. After that, go back to Tools. Select the ESP32 Dev Module Board. Then, select the port and finally click the Upload button, that's it. Finally, our circuit is complete. Now for the power supply, I am using a buck converter because the ESP32 only gives 3.3V output, but our sensors and SIM 900A GSM module need 5V to work properly. The SIM 900A module especially needs 5V 2 amp supply. If it doesn't get enough power, it might not work correctly. That's why I already set my buck converter output to 5V. But if you don't have a buck converter, you can also use a 5V 2 amp adapter directly. King 2. Now we'll fix all the components on the house model permanently. Now look here. I have made a small piece of cloth and attached it to a stick just like we hang cloth to dry. First, I will fix the servo motor on this wall using glue. Then, I will stick this cloth stick onto the servo motor arm also using glue. So what will happen? As soon as the rain sensor detects rain, the servo motor will move, and this stick with cloth will also move to a safe side, just like we protect clothes from rain. Now let's test all the sensors. Pierre sensor test when I move my hand in front of the Pierre sensor, I receive a message, motion detected. Now finally, let's test the rain sensor. This bottle is filled with water. I will spray some water on the rain sensor to simulate rain. As soon as water touches the sensor, the servo motor will rotate and move the cloth to the safe side. Now I wipe the sensor dry using a tissue paper. And look, the servo motor comes back to its original position. If you like this project, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and comment below what sensor you want to see in the next video.